Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, we're gonna get right into this video, guys. On the table with us, we got uh, Bella. She's a sweet little Shih Tzu. I've been doing her since she's a puppy. Um, she's, she's elderly now. I think she's about 12, 13 years old. But it's very common in these Shih Tzus that they start to develop these eye problems and all of this gunk. And it due in part to the way their snouts are, everything's very congested in here. Uh, so anytime the eye starts to discharge or anything, it just gets caught on all of the fur and the hair under the eye. Uh, but with Bella here, what's happening is all of the gook is just really on, on, her, on her eye lid here. And I don't feel comfortable going in with the clippers in that area. Um, she does have this little piece of gook right here that I could probably get out with the clippers. And as you can see, she's pulling away a lot because it's, it's uncomfortable. They're nervous about it. They don't want you, you know, they, they don't want to be hurt in any way. Uh, they don't really want you fussing with it. But nevertheless, as groomers, we got to try to clean this up and get this off of her because you can see how it's actually affecting her eye. Her eye is very cloudy here. Um, and part of it too is that she is losing her vision a little bit, so she doesn't know what's coming at her, so she's scared. Uh, but we're gonna do our best to get this stuff out. Um, I think I could pretty much get this part out, like I said, with the clipper. And I like to get it out with the clipper because I don't wanna fuss too long or pull it. Uh, the clipper will get it out right away. And um, I, also in the tub, because it's so sensitive here around the eyelid, I don't want to force water and scrub that area and risk getting shampoo in the eye. So we're going to do this very safely. Um, I'm going to try to clip this out and then I'm going to get a, a nice clean rag that I have here that I use for this situation and we're going to try to wipe out the rest. But let's just get right into and see if we can clip that one out and see if we're successful with it. Okay, so I got it right out. Um, as you could see, it's okay, Bells. I'm sorry, baby girl. So I got it out, like again, like I just said, by clipping it out, we just get it right out. It's just less fuss, and we did that in seconds. So if you're comfortable enough, you know, get that out with the clipper, and uh, now we're gonna work on this part here. I'm just gonna wet my rag down with some cool water. Um, no, no solution, no soap on this or anything like that, you, because if you do get soap in the eye at this point, you, you, you can't rinse it out or anything because we're doing it uh, you know, on the table and not in the tub. So we're gonna just wet this rag down real quick. Okay guys, so now we have a nice damp rag. Um, and again, the reason why we're doing this is because we, wanted, we want to uh, make this as easy as possible for Bella here. So I'm really just kind of moistening it up. And, and as safe as possible. We don't want to get soap in the eye. Um, it's, like I said, it's just too close to the eyelid here to get the clipper in there. You don't want to get clippers here. It's one thing if you're doing clippers here, but you know, along this eyelid here, you don't, you don't want to mess around. So I'm just kind of, kind of gently loosen it up and soften it up. And then I'm going to try to get a comb in there and just get it out. And, you know, she's uncomfortable right now, guys, you know, but it's something we have to do, you know. I'm just going to grab my comb. When, once you soften it up, what you can do is you try to get the comb through it. Again, being very, very careful. And this is what we mean as, as groomers, you know, we do this all the time. So, you know, we are pretty precise and we know what we're doing. Um, because we do this a lot, so. And already it's all coming out. I'm gonna wipe that other part out too, just to kind of cool it, you know, and just compress it a little bit. It's okay, Bells. We're almost done, Mom. I just wanna get this piece out here. And you know, you got, sometimes you gotta get your fingers in there. And I just pulled it right out with my fingers. Um, and that's it. Now, now you know, now that it's all loose, we can get the rest out. 
in the tub. Oh, it's okay, Bells. I'm sorry, Mama. That's all, baby girl. That's it. Once we loosen it all up, now, now we can get in there, get in the tub and scrub her, and we don't have to worry about getting all that gook out. <laughs> what a sweetie. You good girl. You know I'm trying to help you, Bells. I love you. This is such a sweet Shih Tzu, guys. Yeah, I always feel bad. I, you know, I don't want her to have any problems, but we're going to go ahead and get her in the tub now and clean it up, and you'll see the difference. But this is a good, safe way to address this issue. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Give it up for Bella here, being such a trooper, letting us do all of that around her eye and just trusting us the whole way through. And that's half the battle with this, guys. We really have to get these dogs to trust us so that we can work on them safely and get the job done for their own benefit and for their own health. Thank you so much once again for tuning into the video. Do us a big favor, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next video.